Hi guys. It is just an, another gray, gloomy, drizzly, dark, depressing day. Here in the end times, I guess this is somewhat still paradise. Here in western New York where I'm hanging out where I do more and more in the cemetery here in the I guess this is the Mayville New York cemetery where I'm hanging out with all my new quiet neighbors here on just another fucking yuck Thursday afternoon August 2nd 2018. So Thursday is, of course, when your old depressed collapsitarian comes at you with his rambling weekly depressed collapsitarian whine. Yes, and, uh, probably won't post this whine for a couple of days because I don't want it to be misinterpreted by this very nice lady who is found me this beautiful home for a week here in the uh, for a week to bide my time while I sit around drumming my fingers sitting around waiting to die uh, here in the end times passing another wasted futile week here in this uh, just unraveling, collapsing, rotten foundation of this pointless, futile existence I call a life, a life in the summer of 2018 as, oh fuck as this absolute hammering brutal depression just takes full grip of my goddamn brain or what's left of it and just you know just as I spiral down further into this just this morass of just a, a diarrhea colored just toxic pit of shit wondering what in the fuck what in the fuck am I doing with my wasted life and of course more importantly what the fuck will I do with the rest of this uh lovely existence until I get to join my imaginary friends in the cemetery. You know, this whole thing with cemeteries is one of the great mysteries of life to add to all the other mysteries. Like, what, what the fuck? I mean, does anyone listening to this actually have a cemetery plot? If, if... Well, obviously, if, if you're looking for literally, literally, the monument to self-importance, it would be goddamn cemeteries and tombstones. And I mean, this is one little cemetery in one small town in America, and and there's enough goddamn marble in here. I, I, I can imagine the hole in the fucking planet that just went into this one cemetery where these these clueless fucking morons uh, I guess they felt like they didn't uh, offer anything to the world while they were still walking around so they're just going to uh, tell everyone how great they were when they're six feet under the fucking ground, which is where the hell I wish I was right now.
lying six feet under the goddamn cold ground, getting some fucking peace and quiet from this hammering in my brain. And this, uh, this ceaseless fucking monologue. And now, where is the fuzzy line that separates just your basically miserable, depressed collapsitarian, you know, from the goddamn schizophrenic nut job, the, the drooling, shitting in his pants, uh, fucking, you know what I'm talking about, that guy. It's a pretty thin line. The voices in my head, this this ceaseless goddamn yammering, in in my head, uh, telling me to to get off my ass and do something with my fucking life. Yeah, about. About the, the only thing left that, that brings me just the tiniest little few moments of uh, peace are just riding around aimlessly in my gas-sucking truck, just burning up fossil fuels uh, in my gas-sucking truck, just riding back and forth, up and down, uh, back roads. You know, like a goddamn goldfish, just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Fucking little gerbil running around in his wheel to nowhere. You know, I'm just going back and forth till I go belly up. Do you ever play this game? I, am I the only person who plays this game? Well, there's several, like, variations to this game where you, you just drive up and down, and it particularly works on rural back roads, although you could do the same, in, certainly in the inner city slums or, or the goddamn suburbs. I just prefer to do this on, on rural back roads where you just, you look at houses. You just drive past houses and just try to imagine for a moment what that person's life is. Uh, Lucinda Williams has a song about this, doing this very thing, about just looking at a farmhouse. You know, this bucolic little Norman Rockwell scene and just trying to imagine uh, and, and, and putting yourself in that person's position. I mean, what the fuck do they do with they, th their lives? I wish I could remember the name of this uh, Lucinda Williams song. It's I think it's the last song on her very first album. Uh... What is the name of that song? But anyway, uh, just uh, just what the fuck do these people do? You know, and and are they happy with their lives? Is is the gist? And, you know, it's uh, in, in the in the song. You know, Lucinda uh, is in a miserable relationship with a man, and she's trying to, you know, she's trying to decide whether it's time to walk out of this fucking latest goddamn miserable dead-end relationship with some fucking man she probably thought was going to make her happy. And uh, she asked him, can you just, can you just let me get out of the fucking car and, and just get the feel of my own skin? Uh, for, for one fucking minute. 
uh, to be alone in my own skin, and she's looking at this farmhouse at the end of a, at the end of the day, uh, and just wondering about the lives uh, of, of the people in this in this farmhouse, and you know th this is the game that I pretty much just play all day long. Although of course my version of it is is I certainly have no no woman. I, I have no bad relationship uh, that I'm trying to get out of because I'm trying to get into a bad relationship. Uh, so I don't have to, at least I don't have to worry about some clueless fucking moron uh, woman sitting in the car uh, tapping her fingers while I try to figure out my fucking life. Uh, but of course, the versions, the version that I play, m more so than what Lucinda's talking about, I, I don't wonder so much about whether these people in this house were assumedly clueless fucking morons. I mean, since 99%, you know, it's a 99% chance that they are clueless fucking morons. Instead of wondering so much whether they're happy, I'm, I'm just assuming that they're miserable. And I'm wondering, you know, if I were living at this house, uh... You know, how would I not be putting a fucking bullet through my head? Which is the big mystery of life. I, I you know, I honestly am, am completely just shocked with each passing day that 90% of this planet at least don't pick up a fucking gun and go Michael Rupert. You know? It's just it, it, it's it's just the unenduring mystery to me it, it, is is this whole fucking will to survive in this in this absolutely futile fucking pointless existence from the cradle to the grave. Uh, you can finally find some goddamn peace and quiet. And uh, six feet under the goddamn ground. And then, of course, the even even the the deeper version of this game that I'm playing, especially this summer, as I you know I'm still trying to figure out where the fuck it is that I want to sit around and, and wait around to die uh, in, in my uh, pointless, futile existence. And so, for whatever reason, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of, of upstate New York uh, is where I'm going to stake my little claim uh, for the end times while I sit around waiting for the collapse of global industrial civilization. And so what I, what I really get to do is when I see a for sale sign. When I see a for sale sign, well obviously if it's, if there's any chance that I would be able to afford to buy the place. So I don't I don't do this obviously with nice expensive homes. I do this mostly with either beat up you know falling in old farmhouses or with uh, with with these little cabin tiny houses type things which is what I hope to end up buying is like a tiny house. So when I come upon one of these with a for sale sign, I I pull over and play this game uh, that I've been talking about and I and I sit there and really try to imagine myself living here. Saying, Hambone, is is, is this where you want to uh, to stake your claim, uh, waiting around for the collapse of global industrial civilization and waiting around to die, which is essentially 
what the uh, rest of my life holds for me is uh, waiting around to die, just filling up the time. And so I've, I've played this game probably 200 times uh, in the past two months. And the answer invariably is no. I, I, I really have no interest in, uh, in doing this. But of course, I have no interest in staying in the little hell hole on a Texas floodplain where it's probably about 102 fucking degrees right now in August. You know, in Texas, I, I have no more desire to uh, spend the rest of my life in that godforsaken little hell hole I call home in Texas than I do anywhere else. So it really doesn't fucking matter like nothing else fucking matters. Nothing fucking matters. You know? And I'm in, in what's good for, uh, for housing uh, is good for, uh, you know, is good for jobs. Jobs are good. Jobs are good. You know, I as it is fully in my face apparent to me that uh, whatever I'm doing with my life now is is is, is completely pointless and futile. Uh, this, this job I have <coughs> as a goddamn doomsday profit and depressed collapsitarian is not doing anything to, to serve what I jokingly now refer to as my highest and best use of my life as I get farther and farther away from serving my own best interest by staying down here in the shithole of the doomosphere. You know, I, I, I play around with uh, the the other options, and uh, the the at least until the U.S. Census jobs come open in about a year and a half, which will only be four or five month job anyway. You know, I've got I've got doomsday profit. Uh, I I've got real estate agent, and I've got working for this little package delivery service in, in Austin, Texas for $11 an hour plus tips. And those are, those are my three choices. And, 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 and whenever I sit there and analyze a situation uh, for about five minutes, whether, whether it's my uh, whether it's my housing situation or my job situation, I, I spend about five fucking minutes seriously considering uh, what would be involved in, in each of these choices, and, and I analyze it just in, into this paralyzing no, no fucking way. I want to do any of this shit. You know, and for for some goddamn reason, you know, I, I fully understand it makes no goddamn difference from this point forward uh, where I live. Uh, it makes no fucking difference from this point forward in my life what I do for a job. I still just find myself clinging to this absolutely ridiculous ridiculous, hopeless fucking fantasy that, um, that, that I'm going to find some woman uh, in, in my life uh, that, that is going to give my life some goddamn meaning. Now, now, intellectually, guys, I fully understand, as, as Vegematic was just saying recently, uh, I, like Hambone, you, you you know, in the state you're in, you do by some miracle find a girlfriend, and and, and she's not. And no woman is gonna fix your depression. You're just gonna be a depressed person with a girlfriend who you're you, you know a, a girlfriend who if she's not already a depressed collapsitarian. She will be hanging around me for about two or three fucking days. Any doomer chick dumb enough 
to uh, to take on this goddamn piece of work so I can fully intellectualize the, the absolute pointless futility at this point uh, of trying to get in a relationship, you know, in a in a long term monogamous relationship uh, w with a woman who fully understands how fucked we are is, is somehow gonna snap me out of my depression. But but yet I I, I continue to hold on to this absolutely vain hope. It's the only fucking hope uh, that I have left, of course. Well, there's always the hope uh, that I will lay down tonight uh, in, in this king-size bed that I'm sleeping alone in. Well, I got my little dog sleeping next to me. But here I am one more night sleeping alone in a king-size bed uh, that I'll just go to sleep tonight and never fucking wake up again. Which, of course, is the biggest hope in my life. Uh, with, the, with the Doomer check, uh, fantasy taking a distant second place. And then there's this this whole thing about uh, uh, you know about the doomosphere, about the collapsitarian part of uh, depressed collapsitarian. As as I realize, uh, I, I have been fucking depressed minimally since my 18th birthday. Uh, so for 40 years, and I think I've actually been depressed since I was, since the day I was born. I, I think I was, uh, depressed when I, when I first opened my goddamn eyes to like, what the fuck? But anyway, so even before I was a doomer, uh, I, I was depressed. So... My guess is I would still be depressed uh, whether, you know, the fact whether you're a clueless fucking moron or uh, an eco-Nazi doomer with a goddamn brain, does it really make any difference? And I think the only difference it makes is it's just one more layer of, of, of just absolute hopeless depression. And, you know, when you, when you gotta, when you gotta add in the, the collapse of a planet, uh, as an overlay to the collapse of your fucking worthless, futile, pointless existence. And, uh, uh who was, oh yeah, it was that, uh, climatologist Kate Marvel. I love that name, Kate Marvel, I was reading this latest horse shit that she wrote in in uh, Scientific American uh, about that climate change isn't necessarily going to be doomsday. She certainly doesn't rule that out, but she made this point, this very valid point, and any depressed collapsitarian knows this, that when you're when you're talking about doomsday and you're talking about the apocalypse that the 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 apocalypse the building uh, apocalypse or Armageddon or collapse whatever words you choose this tsunami of shit bearing down on this goddamn planet uh, in, in in every earthling on this planet uh, is is always going to be in competition with your own personal apocalypse. And as a depressed collapsitarian, I know exactly what she's talking about, although, although I don't think she was talking about uh, what I read into what she's talking about. It's, uh, you, you know, it's just, it's just one... It's just now I have, 
the the absolute hopelessness of the human race and life on earth continuing uh, as, as a backdrop to my own unfolding personal apocalypse as this tsunami of depression just it just buries me one more time um, it, it's it's you know my my own teeny weeny <coughs> little uh, personal apocalypse is uh, it, it is is just a microcosm of the the much larger uh, macrocosm of the apocalypse the ecological apocalypse unfolding today on this planet as we head in into the uh, to the shitto scene uh, the Marana scene is going to be the shortest epic in human history uh, as we the shitto scene You know we're 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 fucked. We're fucked. There, there there there's not a goddamn job that's gonna save that. That there there's not a fucking uh, place to move to that's gonna change that. Uh, there's no doomer chick or doomer dude as the case may be that's gonna change that. You know, and then and then I get all of this 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 aging process is not for pussies. You know, my my goddamn teeth are falling out of my fucking head. Uh, you know, like every goddamn tooth in my mouth is throbbing, uh, as is uh, uh, which is really my gum disease. Uh, my, my which is moved in now to to my jaws or my mandibles or whatever as this this uh, what do you call this this septic situation in my gums as my teeth set to fall out of my fucking head my my right arm is getting with each passing day more and more paralyzed. Uh, every passing day, I have less and less uh, use of my own right arm. Uh, my fucking body just falling, falling apart. You know, having to stir all of this shit in, into this, uh, into the rest of this toxic fucking stew pot. Uh, so I don't know what else to do except ride up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, streets, back roads of America, wondering how everybody I see it and blowing their fucking brains out of their goddamn heads. So that's my life in the summer of 2018. The, the, the only thing uh, that gives me any sort of goddamn self-discipline anymore is talking to my imaginary friends uh, on YouTube uh, about the collapse of a planet and as soon as I finish my my little uh, uh, my little sermon of the day about how we're so fucked on this planet, uh, I I get to fold it all up and take a, a look around and go from the planet to my own fucking brain. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. The little dog says, "Would you wrap this up, Pop?" And I want to go out there and get some chippies. I think I'm at 30 minutes. <sighs> We're so fucked, people. I will be back tomorrow with my regularly scheduled 
ecological meltdown roundup rant although this as I say I'm gonna hold off publishing this till after I'm out of this mansion for the end times and heading to who the fuck knows where bye guys you ready to get the chippy the chippies or squirrelies what's that under like that <laughs>